All right, what's up, guys? So today, just got off work. Came out to Hauser for a little bit. My cousin might stop by, but maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I've had some luck catching some bass in here. Of course, when uh, when I wasn't filming, so I wanted to come back and give it a shot. Um, I can't really cast it out too far because. As you can see, it's kind of just a mess. But just throwing the uh, chatter bait, just kind of pitching it out there. Oh, I need to tighten up my drag a little bit. Oh man, it's a good way to start. So what I've been doing is just really, just rolling it in really slow, like as slow as I can, as slow as I can go to where it's still, you know, I can feel it kind of vibrating down there. And this water is just, you know, there's maybe a foot of visibility. Oh, that might have been a fish right there. I just saw it without even any sunglasses on. But, but yeah, so I'll try out here for a little bit. If I don't catch anything, then I'll... God, this wind. It's a lot windier out today than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, not even having to like really make that far of casts. Um, the past couple times I've been out here catching some bass. They've just been really, really close. But yeah, I can't remember exactly what kind of chatterbait it is. It's just a, it's like a $5 chatterbait at Cabela's. And then there's like just a little swim jig on the back for a trailer or a swim bait. Oh man, there is a bass right there or a little something, but I can see him just under the water. I'll let this just drop really slow. Oh yeah, guys. Here, let me see if I can... They're just right, they're just little... Oh, they're just little, uh, looks like a little bluegill. Looks like a little bluegill. I might just jig like a little grub. Because they're right here, just hanging on the, hanging out on the end of this, uh, this little inlet. But if they're right here, there's probably not many bass in the area because they'd be eating them. But I see them just right there. Well, guys, I'm gonna switch real quick. I'm gonna do a little bit of sight fishing for some bluegill. So that's what we're gonna try. There, it hit bottom, so now I'm just going to kind of raise it up a little bit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he, did, he didn't have the whole thing. I wasn't expecting that. So they're hitting it when I'm pulling it up now. Really slow. See, they're hitting the... They hit it and then they let go really quickly. There we go. <laughs> there we go, he took it. Alright, hold on bud, we'll get you back in the water. Ah, son of a... Alright, alright. 
that's the only thing when you get them it's a nice little nice little bluegill It's in there good. Well, this might be the end of the. Oh! Felt like. Still got it. Oh! Man, big old bass right there! Oh! It's a good one! Good one. Good bass. Oh my god, this is probably my personal best. Oh. Alright, stay on, stay on. Oh, Jesus, this is a good bass. This is a really good bass, guys. Holy This thing is heavy. Holy guys. Oh my god, I'm glad I'm filming. Whew! Holy guys, look at this fish. Personal best right here. Man, he just slammed it right there. Close. Oh my god, I'm hoping I'm filming. I'm still filming. Whew. That's a good fish. That's what I've been going for. I was hung up. Whew. So I was hung up on that big fish, or I was hung up on something, and as I was bringing it in, I did not expect that giant bass. That thing had to be three pounds, three or four pounds. All right, guys, that's it for today. But uh, that was fun. Definitely caught my personal best there. And uh, I'll be doing some more videos. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, and I'll keep doing more.